here on the other side we started the ditch and piping for the water line to the garden. Hi Emma. We have PVC and PEX pipes ran. Welcome back to Hollow Acres. Today we are in the garden, but I wanted to start right here at the chicken coop. Almost done. It is almost done. We got the door here. I need to have a latch put on, and then I still need to finish the nesting boxes in the back. I also need to wrap all the plywood, and um, I'm going to put the wood on the outside of it. And this is obviously going to be coming off. Um, it's been raining at night the last couple days, so we've had the plastic on top to make sure it stays dry. Um, I put these here today. I will be adding the uh, top part of the nesting box thing. Hopefully at some point today. That's the goal. But um, we are in the garden right now working on pulling up this tree, leveling the land so that we could really, we have to get that water line straight through the middle of the garden, which is where the big oak tree was. We cut it down. But um, I'm gonna show you what we've been doing. There's Josh on the tractor. Me and him together have worked, I guess if you want to call it shifts, <laughs> getting the round the tree stump here. This is coming out and the water line is basically going to go right through the middle of where that is. And then all of this is getting leveled. While Josh is uh, getting the roots from the ground and trying to get that tree out, I'm going to go ahead and show you what has been done over here. This is relatively level. It is not completely done just yet. Uh, there's a pile of dirt. And then right here is the part of the garden that we did not touch. At least <laughs> that we're not trying to touch. But, you know, this bed has been ran over a bit. Over there in the corner, we're going to put the greenhouse caddy corner. And then off to the right, there's going to be the chicken coop. And the way we built the chicken coop is so that we can uh, lift it with the tractor and move it so that um, we can get the chickens on new ground every few days. I plan on planting basically the entire garden in like a fodder feed and like a wheat grass something that's really good for the chickens and will look beautiful in the garden on the ground. Now let's go see if we can get this tree out of the ground. All right, we went ahead and got out the big boy winch. Mm. I almost fell.
All right, it is the next day. We've got some vocal birds over here, so I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna show you, <laughs> I'm gonna show you what we did yesterday, if I can walk without falling. All right, here's the tree. Now, as you just saw in the previous footage, that hole was much deeper than this is now. So what Josh did was come through with the tractor and he tried to level out this part of the land. So the hole was much deeper and wider. He came through and just kind of pushed it off a bit. So we're trying to level all of this out so that we can build more garden beds and that the sections will be level um, in the different zones. So I'm zoning off the garden, something I should have done, you know, years ago when I started the garden and I didn't. <laughs> Making things hard for myself. We gotta get this oak tree out. This thing is in the way of the new garden plan. And since we cut it down, it doesn't need to be here. But here's the kickster, okay? Uh, the trunk base is wider than the tree was at full growth. Yeah. Now, of course, we know that the roots go down as any tree, as any plant. The roots are wider, usually, than its base. But um, we got about, I don't know, eight-ish feet down. We have, like I said, filled this instance. Uh, we got pretty far down, and it's still just root stock. So we cut around. You can see we cut the big roots. And we pulled out what we could, and this thing will not come out. This tree has broken several ropes. It has gone through many towing cables. Um, we have anchored it to this tree, and we anchored it to that tree, and to that stump. And it would not pull it out. It wouldn't even pull out any of the other stumps. So, like, none of these are coming out, and we're kind of now at the point to where we're just going to cut it as low as we possibly can and fill it back over. We cannot get it out. It won't come out. And um, I'm not putting chemicals down there because this is my garden. I'm not going to burn it because, honestly, I don't think that's going to even work. Um, I've seen people use all kinds of stuff to try to get stumps out. Um, I have spent, I mean the last 24 hours researching how do I get this stump out of the ground because it won't come out and um well all the things that we were doing we did everything right and it, it's just it's it's in there it's in there real good so we're gonna chop it down as low as we can cover it over and we expected this part of the garden um to be lower so you can see where I'm standing and how it kind of is and then it goes down and then there's the tree stump and then wow that um oh that way <laughs> and then this road here that crazy steep down right um this is just gonna have to be a little higher than we had expected so it's gonna be multiple tiers because this is a slope and it is quite the slope um we are going to have to set up so there'll be uh, multiple zones in different levels so it'll be level and then it'll like drop down and then it'll be level and then it'll drop down and it'll be level so that's kind of what we have to do in order to garden properly on this slope and not have everything wash away it's coming together. I, I know that it doesn't really look like it, and if you've been around here long, it's been a really long process of us digging up the garden and pretty much completely redoing it. It's, it's a lot of work. It's been a lot of work. This is the only part of the garden that we have not touched, the only beds still intact, and I've, I've got plants I need to plant and nowhere to put them. All right, over here is the, the weird shaped bed that I did. Honestly, it's probably not gonna stay. But we got onions and garlic throughout. See right here's the potato randomly growing. I had planted, see there's not a pino, but uh, there's a tag and no plant because the plant died. We have some beans in here. There are some bush beans growing in. Uh, there's some cabbages, some arugula, there's just some random things kind of just put throughout. And a bunch of, there's onions and garlic in the middle of this bed. This sage is getting very big. There's some carrots. Uh, nasturtium at the end. Right here I put a red cherry tomato and I'm assuming that also is a red cherry tomato. Here we've got trees. I need to separate these off, prune them down, and I think that I'm actually going to be selling these because I don't have anywhere to put them. Yay! This first bloom on the strawberry plant. Oh, it's so exciting. So we've got two, three, three strawberry plants that survived the winter. Onions and garlic some carrots, more trees, onions and garlic, lots of weed. That's all that's in here. Onions and garlic and weeds. Onions and garlic and there's some 
right there wild raspberries i don't like those they're too thorny i pull them out when they grow up but they're always in this bed and then there's the two beds over there the far the very first one that one pretty demolished i need to come through and get all the um brussels sprouts we can see that they have bolted here in the middle this is just um well my extra pots and my chairs and my umbrella and my little stand there because i have nowhere else to put it that it's not going to get run over uh, this corner mint bed got a little demolished, but I think what I'm going to do is um, dig up a lot of this mint and put it in pots. And mint and lemon balm there. Kale. Um, this is the herb bed, mostly. Got some perennial herbs in there. Uh, there's or oregano right there. There's more mint and onions and garlic, and that's pretty much what I got. Up here at the front, we got this mullion. It's getting really big. Look at these leaves. Oh my goodness. That is a huge leaf. Blueberry plant. Look, we have a couple of blueberries. That's all we got. We're bringing this one back to life. I realized last year I had the soil consistency wrong. I did it right this year. I fertilized it real good and added some fresh soil and it's, it's doing well. We got an apple tree. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when it grows sideways. So it wasn't staked and I just gotta prune it up and then stake it up. Got some ras right there, raspberries, thornless raspberries. Got some banana plants. A lot of this is weeds. Uh, oh, look, cucamelon. Look at that cucamelon growing through. I'm growing through this pile of wood. Got dandelions. What I plan on doing with these is um, ripping them out of the ground and dehydrating the roots. This is the biggest dandelion plant I have ever seen. I mean, it is huge. It's going to have some great roots. More mullein. Thing is giant. It should be putting up its flower stalk any day now. Uh, more bananas. We got, it's like five, so they need to get a bit taller before I can uh, separate them out. Oh, oh, it looks bad. It really does. This bed's been messed up. I want to plant, because I have stuff to plant, but I don't think that I should plant anything here you know because I don't even know what we're doing really I got those four beds and maybe this one I have a lot of plants to plant and right now everything's just up in the air um, I was hoping that this was gonna be done by February but you know at the last last week two weeks ago I guess we had decided to just go ahead and level the garden we'll just it's gonna take a little longer I probably won't have my beds built until May hopefully not the end of May but um there's still a lot, still a lot to do. But as long as it's done by fall, you know, we'll have fall and winter to garden in and then spring and then summer. Okay, as long as we're good by summer and we can have some beds built and I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I do need places to put all of these tomatoes and peppers I'm growing though. Here I had to move all of my seeds. I'm not sure if I already showed this. Uh, I had to move everything here so they wouldn't get ran over everything in this tray here this they all need to be planted out and I don't have anywhere to put them so here we have green zucchini um, this is probably gold zucchini yep golden and this one is birdhouse gourd and these are loofahs yep loofahs Let's see what's this one this one is spaghetti squash butternut squash Chinese red pole beans it looks like I got one left some kind of bugs coming through and eating the tops off and over here too and these are beans also rattlesnake pole beans yeah yeah now these brassicas I started from seed um, February yeah so I potted them up they're in here they're getting some bug damage but you want to know something we're at the end of April now I should have already played these should have already been in the ground um, it's middle April and we're already at 80 degrees it's too late now it is too late for me to plant out any of this and um, that's a lot this is a lot of plants I mean it's just waste now so I wasted seeds I wasted the soil and spent a lot of time yeah It'd be cool to have a high tunnel you know with a shade cloth so I could extend the season for those things Earlier today, I did all this. I potted all of these up. These are the last of the tomatoes. Um, well, I guess what tomatoes I have left from when my greenhouse was ruined. So I potted all of these up. 
And then I decided not to pot these up because these need to be planted out. And it's just like a half inch size difference. It really wouldn't make a difference to pot it up. So I decided against it. And the leaves here looks like stress. These are Black Beauty tomatoes and these are Cherokee Purple tomatoes. This row is Roma. These are Ox Heart. And then Pink Ox Heart, which I think are the same things I just mislabeled. Um, they got four Rio Grandes in the front. Uh, great White Tomatoes. There's four of those. Root Gers Tomatoes. There's seven of those. Old German Tomato. Those. And then these are Brad's Atomic Grape Tomatoes.